Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Committee's Council, on, a Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold a vote on two very important bills. Proposed Intro 1481A, which would adopt the latest version of the New York City Plumbing Code, and Proposed Intro Number 1482B, which will require the use of bird-friendly materials on new construction and major alterations. Proposed Intro Number 1481A, of which I am a sponsor, amends the New York City Public Code, Plumbing Code to bring it up to date with the 2015 International Plumbing Code published by the International Code Council. Local Law 33 for year 2017 requires triannual updates to the city's construction codes so that they, they may remain in line with the current international codes. The code update process requires consensus from various committees that review these codes and make recommendations about their adoption. Amendments recommended for adoption are then heard and subsequently, subsequently voted on by this committee. The plumbing code is the first construction code to be heard during this code cycle. We'll also be voting on proposed intro 1482B, sponsored by Council Member Raphael Aspinall. Proposed intro 1482B seeks to decrease fatal bird strikes in the city by requiring the implementation of certain bird-friendly standards. The city is lo located along a major migratory path called the Atlantic Flyway. As a result, as many as 230,000 birds die annually in New York as a result collision of collisions with windows. Birds strike glass because of their inability to detect and avoid glass. This bill requires that new buildings and major alterations use materials that would be visible to birds and thus decrease bird strikes. Due to the length of proposed intro 1481, which was over 200 pages, and the council's commitment to helping the environment, I'm excited to announce that today we'll be piloting the first paperless vote of this session. In lieu of receiving a hard copy, each committee member in attendance has received an iPad with the committee report. This is one small step towards greening the council. I'm joined today by council members Lewis, Gridenchik, Espinal, and Cabrera. Oh, and Rivera. I'm sorry, and Torres. <coughs> um, I'll ask the committee clerk to, oh, to, to call the roll. But before we, before we call the roll, um, I would just like to ask my colleagues how they feel about this new technology. It's great. I lost it already. Good job, Chairman. Come on, Barry. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> somebody help Barry, please. <laughs> so, in, in all honesty, part of my comments um, uh, cited the fact that this is a small step in, in greening the council. I'm very excited about, about this step. Uh, most people know that I have in the past read my comments off my iPad. We are working to make sure that this is an industry standard uh, for the council, and we're going to work the bugs out today, but I'm, I'm very excited about beginning a process of a greener city council as it relates to paper. I'm, I'm saddened that we were forced to this by this large document, um, but necessity is the mother of invention, and consequently, here we are, here we find ourselves. Uh, my my uh, colleague, Raphael Espinal, has remarks, which he also will read after being airdropped yeah. Yeah. to the tablet uh, exactly. on his bill. Wow. We finally airdropped something here on the floor, but. Uh, no, in all seriousness, my staff actually texted me before um, the hearing started and asked me if they should print out my uh, notes. I said, no, we have iPads now, and now we can read it without spending that paper. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this vote on a bill that I consider to be very important in order for us to continue being climate and biodiversity advocates at City Hall. I am Councilman Rafael Espinal, one of the prime sponsors of Intro 1482B, a.k.a. the Bird Friendly Glass. Since the last ice age, the land we now call New York City has been an important stop on the Atlantic Flyway bird migration route. Despite less and less green space, over 200 species either live or pass through the city and nest in our parks and window frames to raise their young. Visit any park and you're likely to see a few dozen with binoculars look into the trees trying to find traces of our city's secret but incredible biodiversity. In fact, in my district, Highland Park and Ridgewood Reservoir are popular bird watching locations. A couple of years ago, I, along with my staff, took a tour of the Javits Center to check out their new green roof and other amenities. Mm -hmm. As we toured the roof, I looked over to Hudson Yards and the rest of Manhattan taking in the architecture of the buildings. 
And as I stood staring at the iconic skyline, our tour guide explained to me the impact these buildings have on birds and the impact the Javits Center once had on birds migrating. After reviewing the statistics, the Javits Center took it upon themselves to make changes to their building's glass to reduce the number of bird deaths by 90%. I thought to myself, why can't the rest of the city do the same? Which is why I introduced this bill. We have seen this council take historic and extraordinary steps to reduce our carbon footprint. For example, my green roofs bill, which we passed early this year, that's requiring green and solar on top of uh, new construction. This bill today will add to our environmental legacy as we are taking responsibility for our role in the ecosystem that lasted long before our city, before City Hall. Every year, over two billion birds die from window collisions in this country. And since New York City is along the bird migration route, between 90,000 and 230,000 birds, from hawks to hummingbirds, die from flying into buildings in our city. This is a staggering statistic, especially when we have the means to reduce it. There are different ways to make glass bird friendly, and many experts provided details of that in previous hearings. This bill strikes a careful balance in requiring bird-friendly glass only at heights where birds are most likely to be flying. I'm grateful to be I'm grateful to the many advocates and experts that have worked with my office and this committee on this bill. I'd like to thank the chair again for holding this vote and all of the staff that worked to put this uh, bill together. And I urge my colleagues to vote yes. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. And uh, lastly, before we hold uh, open a roll for the vote, I do want to say that a lot of times us council members get to celebrate and take credit for advancements in technology and what happens around here. I want to take this opportunity to thank Jason Goldman, uh, the Speaker's Chief of Staff, and the entire staff who was responsible for toiling behind the scenes in making this day uh, and this initiative uh, uh, possible. So really, really, really thank you guys for your vision and implementation of that vision. Please call the, call the roll. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings. Both items are coupled. Chair Cornegy. I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Espinal. Again, I want to thank all of the staff that worked on putting this bill together, and I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Lewis. By vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. We, I'm going to hold the vote open for uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Good job.